Okay, here we go. So, my best, uh, my best one's my Luke, and it's easiest because whenever he's trying to tell you anything, when he's judging you, he's just like, you know, Maddie, you know, it's like, girl, you know, when you're singing, it's like, you know, I hear your voice and it's good. Um, you know, pretty much like what Katie was saying. And then Lionel go, Maddie. You, my friend, have something that, that can't be taught. You, my friend, when you open up your mouth, you don't have to dance. You just gotta sing. You know, when I was with the Commodores, I learned that lesson. And that's, that's my best. I can't do Katy Perry. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be passing around a tip bucket if you'd like to make a donation. I'm just kidding. make it so special. So thank you so much for allowing me to Aid kit available now. <laughs> Wait, no. What's what's the uh, release date of your new one? Twenty six. My my favorite song is coming out this Friday. <laughs> what's it called? <laughs> Made you miss by Maddie Poppy. That's my favorite song. Pre save it now on Spotify. What's your favorite song? Um, yeah, my favorite song is Anything by Caleb Hutchinson. Oh, stop it. Lee Hutchinson. <laughs> Caleb Lee Hutchinson, sorry. Oh, stop it, please. Yes, no, I, um, I don't, I can never answer this question because I don't have like a... A go-to. A go-to favorite, favorite, favorite song. I'll have to think of that and I'll get back to you. Same what would, here. What would you consider, both of you, what would you consider to be the hardest song you've done? Oh, on the show? Anytime. Um, last week at my show in Davenport was really hard because I was sick. So every song last week was hard. But on the show, if we're talking on the show, yeah. If It Makes You Happy was so hard because I was sick that week. And it's a high, high song. And I, uh, I had a doctor, this doctor, um, he's like a vocal whatever doctor. And he had like put some, what is that? They shoot it in the back of your throat. What's it called? Chlorinamide. Yeah, just, no, it's not chloroseptic. It's like this strong thing that they give you right before the show. all the water. Yeah, but I had to get that right before that show. Also, Going, Going, Gone. That was extremely hard to sing because none of us knew the words. Gabby, Caleb, and I didn't know the words to our songs um, because we had gotten them like a week before, you know, and we didn't, we, how are we supposed to, uh, these are brand new songs. <laughs> And so we asked if we could get teleprompters because we'd never had teleprompters on the show, but we said, can we just, you know, can we just have the words for this song? And they gave it to us. Um, but they said, every time the camera angle hits behind you and gets an audience shot, the teleprompter turns off because the TV's back there. They don't want people to see you're using a teleprompter. So we're like, okay, well, what if the tele, you know, what if the camera angle hits right when I need the words? So that was, that was terrifying. And this was a, that was a hard song to sing because I didn't really think about it before I picked it. And I didn't, I know, I say this a lot, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think about the key before I went in and sang. This is how sure I was that I wasn't going to win the show, okay? I picked the song because I was like, they're like, you got to pick one song. You know, if you win, this is going to be your anthem, whatever. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll go with this one. They said, is the key okay? I said, yeah, it's fine. Didn't sing through it. Didn't look at the words, nothing. Went into the studio, recorded it, you know, had to use the lyrics. The guy was teaching me the song as we were singing it. And it was really unprofessional, but I really didn't think that I was going to have to sing that song. And so now I have to sing it every show of my life. <laughs> but I moved it down. I moved it down. Did everybody get a song? Top five. Top, top, top seven. five. Top seven? Oh, yeah, you're right. Well, what was your hardest song? Um, I had to 
I had the if it makes you happy story, but on the finale night. So they had to give me all my medicine uh, when we had to do the three songs. And it was, man, this is going to get a little personal, but like, you have to drink water when, uh, with the stuff he gave you. He was like, make sure you're drinking water throughout the night or it'll dry up your throat. Oh, yeah, the pills, too. And, but, man, like, something about being on national TV can give certain people, you know, like a nervous bladder. So <laughs> then you're just kind of fighting uphill both ways, you know. Um, so that, that night was rough for that purpose. Um, and same thing with the Johnny Cash Heart, my single thing I had to do. They, they sat me down and they said, here are three songs you can choose from. And I said, well, I'll tell you which one I hate the least. But, <laughs> but you know, because we had to pick them quick and we had to, we had to learn them quick. And it wasn't like, you know, here were your options. You should tell them which one, one of the All options right. was. It's the coolest I'll tell you, thing. I had, because here's the thing, I like country, but I'm more into... Uh, more of a classic country, Merle Haggard, uh, Waylon Jennings type thing, George Jones. Um, and then the newer guys I listen to are not as mainstream. Um, so they sit me down and they, the first one they play for me, I'm not kidding, it's called Boots and Horses. Um, and it goes like, boots and horses, swings and porches. Like, and I said, yeah, it's good, but it's kind of cookie cutter, don't you think? And they said, oh, well, we got some, some other ones. And, it was, the next one was Beer Truck Girl. Yeah, it might as well have been Beer Truck Girl. It was just, it was just something like that. And then they played me Johnny Cash Heart, and I was like, well, I'll take it. I'll take option C, you know. Because, I mean, but that was the thing, too. I was like, hey, I probably won't have to do it. Like, you know, yeah, this, sure. this won't be anything i got to worry about. I remember that we, us sitting in that meeting. Hollywood Records was at the table and everything. We were all sitting there, and they played these songs through. And I remember them saying... If you win, I don't know why I remember this, but they said, if you win, this is the song that you're going to have to sing. And I just remember trying to think, what would that look like? You know, what would that feel like to win the show? And I was like, I just felt so far away from it. I was like, there's, I just, I could not picture it in my head at all. You know? Yeah, I don't, I didn't realize, because I thought just the winner had to sing this thing. I didn't realize the top three had to either. So I didn't know that. So I was like, yeah, it's not going to happen. I don't have to worry about this. I will say I was happy um, when I won and had to sing this song because then it was like, no one's voting on this, and I'm crying, so no one's going to expect it to sound good. And then I didn't expect all of the cast to come up on the stage and hug me, and so I was like, we'll pass the microphone around. And, you know, it was, that was awesome. Maddie, one more quick one. Can you hear me? Um, what, for your mom, when she was there on Mother's Day, yeah. And you looked at her, and you couldn't finish the song. Yes, and it, luckily it happened at the like very last note. Um, but yeah, originally, oh, this is kind of corny. The, originally, the like dance what, choreographers, they wanted me to walk up that little like um, runway thing to my mom and keep singing it. And I was like, I'm just going to stand in place. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Um, but yes, you know, I just, all of the emotions like got to me in that, mo in that ending moment. Because I was just like, um, you know, I think we had sang the Carrie Underwood song and everything. I think the whole night had gone through and everything, you know, was over. And I, I like just looked at my mom and my parents and was like, Man, I just can't believe this is like my life, and it just got, I got all choked up in that in that moment, and um, yeah. It was a cool moment. <laughs> because I know we could be here all night asking you questions, and we appreciate you coming. Um, I'm just gonna wrap it up with one more question, and then I'll let you guys draw for the door prizes that the poppies were kind enough to bring. Um, are you guys? Oh, I just kind of. Are you guys looking forward to the Butler County Fair? Woo. Not really. Not really. <laughs> um, we, I'm, I'm super excited because I will get to play, my album will have just come out, and I'll get to play all my new songs, um, and I'll have a band, and, um, you know, the hometown concert was crazy, and, and I, you know, I don't expect it to be that full again, but, I mean, if we could get that sort of crowd again, that was just... <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was like the best day of my life. So much fun. I think about it like all the time. I just can't believe that that happened. And that was such a fun day. Oh, 
And I hope, yes, I hope it's it's like that again because that was so much fun. <laughs>